Okay. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. You are highly welcome to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland radio Biafra on Facebook here in Biafra land where I am broadcasting from I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist Mazi Madab Chinwachuku I am from Ndiabo Ndiabo is in Aninri Aninri is a local government in Oji River Province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Ndam Mekani is our leader. He is still undergoing torture despite being discharged by and acquitted by the Nigerian appeal court judges. Not even a judge. Judges in Abuja. 13th of October 2022. Facebook, you cannot stop us from mentioning Namdekano. And that remind me to remind our people that we have tried on the target May and we have celebrated them, our fallen heroes and heroine. And we must know that we changed a picture. We changed a picture, a profile picture and we have to go back to Namdekano's profile picture of prisoner of conscience. Very, very important as we are dragging those that are illegally detaining him in detention presently as his health condition worsens. We need to also to give updates by changing our profile picture with that of Namdekano prisoner of conscience because started may have come and gone. It is an annual event. Thank you. If you make a change, if you change your profile picture, it will reflect on your war. It is also a campaign because it will circulate very, very wide again. Thank you. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom is panicking. Uh, panicking. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, they are panicking. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> they are panicking. <laughs> Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. <laughs> uh, which has come back. <laughs> the others are coming back to my page. <laughs> uh, you it is the truth. I tell you the truth. It doesn't, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're holding my life, you take it. That's your good children. Was Shoinka not corrupt? Was Tai Sholarin not corrupt? Name one your man that isn't corrupt. Name one. Name one that is good. Simple. I said name one. Adam Aguama. Thank you. Omo Chineke. Share this very program. We are not going to let them rest. We will continue to hunt them as our leader taught us and as IPOB leadership is directing us and that will continue to do. Namdekano was afraid. There is no way the Nigerian DSS that have been disobeying court order <clears throat> on Namdekano, on the violation of Namdekano's fundamental human right by the same DSS. All the rulings of Bintanyaku on the favor in the favor of Namdekano over the violation of his fundamental human rights 
about four or five favorable rulings, did the DSS obey? The answer is no. How come DSS, not, how come they now allow the news to carry, though none the kind of family sent, uh, sent the news to Nigerian media, you know, in their, in, with their special cancer, right? Barista Jimako, they concocted doctors without the consent of the very lead counsel to Namdekano's case, which they knew that it is properly, you cannot go on health issue of Namdekano without the presence of the, without the knowledge of Professor Mike Ozokome-san. The lead counsel in Namdekano's case in Abuja. Barisa Jofor is following him, and Barisa Jofor is the lead counsel to IPOB. So anything about IPOB, Barisa Jofor leads the counsel, any legal issue. Now, on the case of Namdekano, this matter, this, their job, their duties are divided. On the case of Nam de Kano, Barisa Jofo was handling it initially. He was leading it. Until Ozokome came, he took over. Then Ejofo now assists him and continue as the lead counsel to IPOB. Right? Ozokome is the lead counsel to Nam de Kano in his case, which Nigeria is holding him for. Then how come the family of Nam de Kano, they brought a lot of the people they parade as doctors? bring them who, who, are, who is sure that they are doctors. Then you brought them, and the, the next thing we had on news is that um, Namdekano family said that the doctors are ready to carry on surgery on Namdekano, but the same media have never been enhanced to publish the starvation of Namdekano by DSS. They never, the continuous illegal version of Namdekano even in solitary confinement, they never publish it. They never. You see that news they publish. That's why we don't cross them. Nam the Kano are the first place. The lead council are the people that have been filing applications. So um, yes, in court concerning his health condition, telling the court that he needs the presence of his personal doctor. How come you brought doctors without his personal doctor, which the lawyers have filed, the lead counsel have filed suit on? And so many rulings have been given, but DSS disobeyed. Then how come you overlook those that have been filing this very application, then you brought some people so that in Nam Kano they will be will undergo surgery in DSS. In DSS. Is in Nam Kano an awaiting trial? Is in Nam Kano a convict? Is in Nam Kano in CC, condemned criminal block? Is in Nam Kano a life imprisonment in life imprisonment or which one? Then, what will warrant an operation in DSS? When Buhari himself, when he was alive, he take treatment outside country. What will warrant it? When doctors, even Nigeria, even Nigerian doctors, they travel abroad and take treatment. Nigerian doctors, they travel abroad and take medication. Then, talk more of them that the court have freed, court have discharged him. What are you holding him for? Why do you want him to, why do you want a surgery to take place in DSS? I think Michael Zukome, I think he has blocked that rubbish because that thing should not happen. None of the should be allowed. The doctors, the personal doctor of none of should be allowed. allowed. They have come again today, again, another attack.
Nandekan should be allowed to meet with his personal doctor. That's what I'm saying. And that's what IPOB is saying. Because he is not a convict. So you will say that um, he is uh, under the government. There is no law keeping in Namdekan in detention. There is no law. The state of execution did not follow due proceeding. It is null and void. Because the due proceeding is that Namdekan must be allowed to go and enjoy the freedom he secured in appeal court first before you file stay of execution. So you had Malami talking about the stage and they saying that they did not hear um, acquitted. Ask him, Malami, did you obey this charge? The answer is no. Did you obey acquitted? The answer is no. Then, even the discharge you agreed that you had, did you obey? The answer is no. Then we are asking them, what is the reason of Namdekano being undergoing surgery in DSS? Is he convicted? Is he in awaiting trial? Is this, I'm asking, because awaiting trial is, you are standing trial. You know, you are waiting and, and the, the standing trial. So, is he facing any trial? The answer is no. Is there any warrant against him? The answer is no. Is there pending warrant? The answer is no. Then, what is keeping him the car in DSS? Then, why must somebody support the Namdekanu to undergo surgery in DSS. Even family members brought lawyers that Michael Zukome, the lead counsel, have not confirmed. Sorry, brought doctors. Whether they are doctor or not, we don't care. Whether you brought anything, everything have due proceedings. That's why Namdekanu told DS, um, DOS to suspend Monday sit at home. Kanunta, because Emmanuel Kano informed him. Kanunta went and published it. There was confusion. While people was waiting for IPOB leadership to announce it. They don't have, they don't wait. They always rush. Kanunta, first of all, suspended Monday Statue before the DOS announced it. They cannot be patient. That's why. When they brought one thing, they said it is a um, memo. They, on the memo, the said memo, there are places that are at the down. If you come down on that, they are said memo. You will see copy to, copy to, copy to, right? Copy to, copy to this. Now, you did not hear, you can never see copy to canon, copy to Emmanuel can. No way. There is no copy to them there. But there are the people posting it. Was the memo copied to you? The answer is no. Then why did you not allow those that it was copied to, to publish it? Is it your business? If it is a message from Onyendu, the message has been passed. Why not you go your way? You continue. You continued. The next one, you posted it. Uh, is it in your position to post it? The answer is no. Then why are you trying so? Now again, the lead counsel to Nandekano, Michael Zukome and other and the age of four and co, they have been filing application concerning the health condition of Nandekano and giving condition to the federal government on how to carry on um, surgery on Nandekano that his personal doctor must be there. His personal daughter must be there. And that Nam Bikani need to leave DSS and go for to a and take proper medication. Because DSS is not okay. For Nam Bikani to take treatment. If DSS is okay, why do Buari, why was Buari when he was alive? Why did he not go undergo his own treatment in DSS hospital? Why? I'm asking them, why do the governors travel out 
for treatment. Why? Why do Tinubu travel out for treatment? If DSS have a hospital, that is okay. If DSS is conducive, if DSS is okay for somebody to uh, undergo this, what is it called? Surgery. Talk more of somebody like Enam Dekan. This is things that we do not accept. Then we are asking them, what is the reason of bringing doctors without informing Professor Mike Ozokeme san? That's what you are asking. Now, why is it that Nigerian media that does not publish the killings of Biafrans, the abduction of IPOB family members, right? They cannot um, publish it, but they rushed and published and published that Nandekano's family confirmed that uh, the, the daughters of the daughters of Nandekano are ready to carry on surgery. Why do they rush to publish it? Why? When they never publish the 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 starvation of Namdekan by the DSS, they always starve him. Do have have you ever had the media publish it? No, they don't publish. And before we move forward, we must pray. We must pray. Facebook is attacking us. Nare kele na ro tuto na ro jama na mbule elu. Nare chisi ibuchi ina di rue bibi. Odi onye di kagi. Odi onye yirigi. Odi onye agi jetu nyeregi. Chine ke ndi IPOB. Chine ke ndi Biafra. Chine ke nande kano. Chine ke ojuku. Chine ke ESN. Chine ke ndi aga ojuku. Nare kele. Nare tuto. Naroji Jamma, Narambulelu, Makane Buchi, Nahagi, Chi, Uku, Okike, Abia, Amara, Poro, Ime, Ihenile. We have prayed. He said, He said, He said, Thank you. I want to read a memo. I want to read a memo. Memo. Okay, it's a press release. Memo. This is press release from IPOB. Yeah, the curriculum. I'm gonna have much of it. Okay, I'm not shifting. I'm reading press statement. 8 June 2023. The Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra has deemed it extremely imperative to make a public statement and and clarifications regarding the issue of Mazen Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Biafra's health and plans for him to undergo surgery while still in the custody of the DSS. Firstly, and for clarity's sake, the lead counsel to Maze Namdekano in the matter instituted against him by the Nigerian government, which matter is 
now before the Nigerian Supreme Court is Barrister Mike Ozokome, son, assisted by Barrister Efani Ejofo and others. Any matter before concerning Mazi Namdekano while still being detained at the locally at the facility of the DSS, whether such issues pertain to his health or otherwise must be brought to the knowledge and and attention of the lead council. The Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra can no longer tolerate anyone or people who are either driven by peku, peku, pecuniary consideration or either motivations to endanger the life of Mazi Namdekano while in DSS custody. For the avoidance of doubt, it was Barrister Mike Ozokome, son, and Barrister Efani Ejofo that impressed upon the director legal of the DSS that it is absolutely unnecessary and important to have the personal doctor of Namdekano get involved in any surgery must be conducted must be conducted on him because they are not doctors but lawyers. My eyes is just disturbing me somehow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me finish it. I think people will be just follow me slowly as I am reading it. Please don't be offended. Just, you know, when we was in a waiting trial for years, it affected my eyes somehow. But as a lawyer, Emmanuel Kano and others working in cohorts with them must retrace their steps and desist from visiting the DSS office with people they call doctors without the knowledge of barrister Mike Ozokome San, the lead counsel to Mazi Namdekano. How come those that were never present when the understanding was reached to have Mazi Namdekano's personal doctor involved in this deciding the issue of his surgery are the ones who are parading people at the DSS as personal doctors of Mazen Namdekan. The attempt to smuggle in certain persons as Mazen Namdekano's personal physicians without informing the son is very suspicious to say the least. The Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra 
wish therefore to inform IPOB families worldwide and their friends in general that if these individuals to wit Barista Aloy Ejimako, Emmanuel Lokano, and those working with them, their names are known to us. Continues, okay, continue on this path they have chosen, they and the Nigerian government must be held responsible should anything come to wars happens to Maze Namdekano, the directorate will not allow Kenya to repeat itself. Signed, Maze Chika Edozim, Head of the Retreat of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra. Thank you. Our people should pardon me. My eye somehow is somehow disturbing anyway. We move. I think you have what I, I just read now. That Emmanuel Kano, Barista um, Aloe Jumako, and uh, um, Kanunta. They organize group of people, call them doctors, brought them to DSS, say they will take surgery on and they can. Without the knowledge of Michael Zukumi and Barista Jofo, Michael Zukumi's son is the lead counsel to Mazen Namdekan. Barista Jofo is assisting him. And Barista Jofo is IPOB lead counsel. If you do not inform him as assistant to Michael Zokome, in the case of Namdekanu, won't you inform him as IPOB lead counsel? I'm just talking about a job. What about Sam Ozokome that is in charge of Namdekanu's case? You did not inform him. But there are the people that have been filing application in court. There are the people that discuss with um, DSS uh, booths on, is it on health or what, right? Then they agreed that the personal daughter of Namdekan will be present if such thing will happen. How come those that wasn't involved in the discussion and the agreement are the people that now came to DSS and then, um, you know, came to DSS with a group of people and they presented them as Namdekano's personal doctor. Is it the life of Namdekano that you people just want to treat like the life of um, a chicken? You are just smuggling people inside to, to DSS, claiming to be doctor. Is this something you do secret? Yes, surgery to a leader of um, about 70 million people is what you want to do as a family issue. In the charges against Namdekano, was anything like family mentioned? Is it not IPOB that is mentioned? Nandekano is in detention because of IPOB and Biafran people. Family was not mentioned in any charge, in any count, any count among the amendment charges. No family, no place in family is mentioned or was mentioned because those charges have been trashed. Is IPOB that is multiply mentioned in the charges against Namdekan? How come you want to, you organize people claiming to be doctors, you say they are Namdekan's lawyer, uh, doctor, personal doctor? Who confirmed it? Who confirmed it? Why are you always in the hands? Why are these people always in the hands? Why? Playing, you want to joke with the life of Nandekan. You are joking with the life of Nandekan. Nandekan that is not facing trial. 
he had been in the hands to carry on surgery on his ear. Somebody who fight to free him so that he will go and take proper medication was Uguari treated in DSS before he died. Presently, was it too good treated in DSS? How many of them went to DSS and take medication? How many of them? Is it not Mikano not innocent like them? He is innocent. After all, they are criminals. Namikano is a freed man also. Let me just say freed man. Let me not just go on the innocent issue. In Namikano is a freed man by law like them. Then why is it that Namikano will not take his own medication in DSS? Where did that thing happen? People that refuse him access to his doctor. How can they allow good things to happen to Namikano? Emmanuel Okano, Kanonta, and the barristers of uh, 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 Jimako. If anything happened to Nandi Kano, all of you will face the dance. And those that are supporting you will have the names of all those people working with the Nigerian government. Why isn't William Nandi Kano go through such thing? Are you now getting tired? Nandi Kano should go out from DSS and go and treat, treat himself. He is not in a waiting trial. He is not a convict. He's not in life, a life, a life imprisonment, also convict. They are all convict. He's not condemned criminal. Right? Then why must he take surgery in DSS? When Nigerian doctors travel abroad to take treatment, Nigerian doctors, they travel abroad to take treatment. Tinubu travel abroad to take treatment. Right? Then Nandikano will take surgery in DSS on that pitch facility. They have removed people again. How many times will you attack this program, Facebook? We move. How come DSS that have been disobeying court orders? They are the people now. They are, they are the people that will provide facility where Namdekan will undergo surgery in DSS. A freed man. A freed man. Why must somebody support such thing? A freed man to undergo surgery in DSS. Now, the barrister Ozokome, Sam, discussed with Director General of DSS on health or what? That if such thing will happen, that the personal doctor of Namkan will be there. Then ask Barista Joffa, um, sorry, ask Barista Ejimako, not Ejofo, please. Ask Barista Ejimako, Emmanuel Khan, and the Khan Hunter. Who are those people you brought to DSS as Namkan's personal doctor? If they are genuine, why did you not inform Barista Ejofo? Why did you not inform? By Sir Osokome San, who is the lead counsel to Mazinam de Kano in the cases instituted against him by the Nigerian federal government, though all have been thrashed in the courts. He's been illegally detained. But the case is still in Supreme anyway. Then we are asking you, why did you not inform them? Why did you not inform Osokome if your movement was genuine? Why did you not inform Barista Joffa if your movement was genuine? Now, are you trying to play the same thing you people played in Kenya? Is that the same thing you want to play now Namdekan is in DSS? How can you gather people and say that Namdekan is personal doctor? Then, without informing those or the barrister that is leading the council to Namdekan right now, in his illegal detention. I'm asking. Ask yourself, are the, gen the movement of these people genuine? If genuine, why do they want to do surgery on Namdekano in a secret way? What we just had was Namdekano's family have uh, told us that, um, have assured us that uh, Namdekano's doctors are ready to carry on surgery on Namdekan. That's what we had. Is that supposed to come from them first? Without the lead cancer. 
Then who are those doctors they presented? Who are they? Who confirmed them that they are doctors? Now you see what we are passing through in the in the in this struggle. You see why you must be so strong. Do you now understand? The only person that you can even do such thing are convicts. Convicts. You can carry such thing on them without informing anybody because they are um, government child. They are government property. You cannot do it to awaiting triumphate. Talk more of a freed man, Namdekano, that is not standing any trial. At the first place, why must he undergo surgery in DSS? Is it because he is waiting for his death of court? Or is it because he has not been discharged? Or is it because his case has not been in court? I'm asking, why must Namdekano undergo surgery in DSS? What is the difficulty? What is the issue surrounding his freedom? We want to know what exactly is keeping him that will warrant him to undergo surgery in DSS. I want to know how many charges is he facing? Which court is his case in? Now, when is his date of court? Which warrant is keeping him in DSS? Can you provide genuine warrant? When is his date of court? I'm not talking about Supreme. He's the one that challenges his illegal detention in Supreme. Don't bring that Supreme Court date on the issue I am talking now. We are asking Nigerian government, what is the charges Namdekan is facing now? How many can charges? What is keeping him? When is his date of court? Present the valid warrant that is keeping him. Or was he re re arrested in DSS? No, we want to know. Because you can only issue fresh detention warrant had you allowed him to go back to his home. Then when you file self-execution, if they rule on it, on the favor of federal government, they will not issue detention warrant, arrest warrant. Then I ask you, you did not obey the order of the court. Did you arrest him in DSS? I want to know. We want to know. Thank you. The issue of rearresting him and detaining him would have come from the court, not while he's in DSS. You will first of all allow Namdekano to go before any stay of execution ruling, and before filing any stay of execution, talk more of ruling. It is a must, that is how it is done. It is legal if you do it this way, but the way you did it, it is illegal. That is, you just practice multi, um. Uh, malice, pure malice, pure malice. That's what we are asking. And should somebody be pressured to carry on Namdekano to or uh, to carry on surgery on Namdekano? Or should you pressure for him to go to a proper place and treat himself? He is a freed man. That strength you used to gather fake doctors and bring to DSS, claiming to be Namdekano's personal doctor. If they are, if they are Namdekano's personal doctor, why did you not inform Michael Zokome's son, the lead cancer, if they are genuine? Why did you not inform a, inform a job that is assisting him? Or that is leading an APOB council. Osokome is leading now the canon case. Then a Jofo is leading an IPOB. Then assisting a Jofo, um, a Osokome. Then we ask you, why are you doing, why are you so in the haste to carry on now the canon surgery in DSS facility? Why not fight for his freedom because he's a freed man? If DSS have facility where surgery can be taken, why do Guare travel abroad? Why do Tunubu travel abroad? Why do Guare die in abroad? He would have died in DSS custody, in DSS hospital, where they can carry on surgery. We are asking you, how many months did the Tunubu spend? 
How long did he spend outside? Why did he not spend his um, carry on his treatment in DSS custody? People should be ashamed of themselves. What Michael Zokome agreed with DSS Director General on Health was that the personal daughter of Unam Khan must be there. Then, how come you assemble some people as a personal daughter of Unam Khan without informing the people that made that meeting? But when the meeting was made in DSS and was agreed, you wasn't there. How come you are the people parading people as personal doctor? But the people that made the agreement, the Ozokome and his team, you wasn't there. Then how come uh, it is now a Jimako, but it's a Jimako, and uh, it can enter, can, and the man can, are the people that will now bring personal doctor? Nandekan is not in your house. He is in DSS. And the, the, in the charges against Nandekan, no place that family was included. Family was not charged for anything. IPOB is multiply mentioned in the charges against Nandekan, though all have been trashed in their own court. Excuse me. Do you understand? So, we do not support that. We say no to that. That's our stand. Now we move to Southeast governors, those that handed over and those that are occupying office now. Southeast governors that handed over, we knew Obi Anna first of all handed over last year, right? He's in line with them. Is among those that exchange using Namdekan as an exchange to get Igbo presidents. Will you be enough? Who puts them? Ike Kuremado is a senator, but they are all in four. Rocha Sokrocha is a senator. He's involved. Ojo Sokan is a senator. He's involved. Chris Ngige, a minister, he's involved. Then governors. Okay, Zibazu. If I knew Gwani, they will mind. All of them are involved in the agreement to use Namdekan in exchange for Igbo presidents with Ohanes and Dib. What, um, what are they called? Ohanes and Dib youth and Ohanes and Dib in general. The people that were shouting Igbo presidency in 2019, they came again, Igbo presidency. If indeed Bonibo did not become president in 2023, or join IPOB, where is Ohanes? Have Onibo become president? Ohanes, have you joined IPOB? Have you joined IPOB or Kwajana Kinyo? Ana Kinyo didn't have a Kwabada Gaha meeting on Hanez. People that were about that to Hanez and Dibu meeting. Don't you see them? Don't you see the Vuma in the meeting? Don't you see them? People that go to Hanez meeting, Igbo meeting, you go with the Chinkit, what is it called? Dan Chiki. You go with the Alaji Wea. So you were meeting. Right? Just like all Joseph, they go there to show their Babariga, you know, their 1,500 Alahaj in Igbo meeting. Those are the people that say, if the uh, Igbo man did not become president in 2023, we will join IPOB. Have you joined IPOB? Have you joined IPOB or Hanes and Igbo? Have you joined? The answer is no. You are now supporting the, the new government. Have you joined IPOB or Hanese? Ndioshi? Nandiyama? Have you joined struggle? The answer is no. Betrayers. 
Now I come back to them. Where is the Igbo president? No way. Then where is the Namdekano you gave out for Igbo presidents? Is our people forgot? Uh, are they trying to forget? No, now they use the Namdekano to exchange Igbo presidents. Ask them, where is Igbo presidents? Where is the Namdekano? You are not holding anyone. We are not. They 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 are not. Minister, he was fully involved in the kidnapping of an American. Chris Ngige. Right? Okay, Zipas. If I knew Guani, Soludo wasn't there in their discussion. As a governor, he may be in their discussion as a some other person. But then, when this discussion took place, Obiano was the governor. But the first people that was consult contacted was Dave Omai and the who posed on him. Do you understand? Now we ask them, do you now leave Igbo presidency and also abandon the Nambekan? You did not get Igbo presidents. Then go back and bring Nambekan you gave them. You betrayed him, you sponsored everything to make sure he's in the custody so that you will get Igbo presidents. Igbo presidency, Igbo presidency. For how many years? You have sang that song. How many years now? You have sang it for years. Then we ask you, what did you bring back home? Did you come back with Tim Khan? No. Did you come back with Igbo presidents? No. What did you come back with? Then, what is the meaning of your silence? Because we thought you were silent over the kidnapping of Namdekano because there is something you want to bring to us. You did not bring anything now. Then, what is the meaning of your silence? Because all of you were involved in the kidnapping. You don't want Flanny to publish any evidences. True of us. True or false? Very soon I will open our line. Very soon I will open our line. Thank you. Our people should continue. We are dealing with the enemies. They are gathering after gathering. Their plan scatter. They will start gathering again. After gathering, their plan will scatter. They will start gathering while we continue in our activities. We we'll keep setting agendas for them. We are asking them. Nam Kano brought to the completion of a, a what? Um. Second Niger Bridge came through IPOB, came through Namdekan. What did this very tenor that carried on Python dance? They organized Python dance, they organized kidnapping of IPOB, they organized killings, different massacre of IPOB family members. They proscribed IPOB in as a governor in their in their region. Then we asked them, after all these things. To kill in Namdekan, you fell. Now, before you want to leave office, you now plan and kidnap Namdekan. We ask you, governors, what did you achieve with these very crimes you committed against us? What did you achieve? What exactly did you achieve? Can you present anything? 
Then why have you been silent over the killings of our people? Because you are supposed to be silent because you don't want to say it now so that you will not get this thing. So what did you get after your silence? Because it, that thing would have been, okay, I, I, we are silent because there is something they want to give to us. But they promised you, Igbo presidents, even when Igbo man was going to court, did the organizers uh, say we'll die there? The answer is no. Did the governor say we are with him? Is Igbo presidents? The answer is no. They were angry because they were not the one. They are not fit to be. So they were envying him. Now, that's why they cannot ask them. If they ask you to bring one person as Igbo president, who will you bring? And that Jesus said, nah, I'm not there yet, man. Nah, I can't. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure. That is to say, they are not even, they don't even know themselves before they talk Igbo presidents. Everybody wants to be president. Now, why is it that they wanted Igbo presidents? When Peter B was dragging, why did they not come out in one voice? They left him. They do party thing. Right? Now, what is bringing me to this issue is, where is the Igbo presidency that you, because of Igbo presidency, Buari will hand over to Igbo, Buari will hand over to Igbo, Buari will hand, right from Rochester, Buari will hand over to Igbo. After all these things, where is the Igbo presidency? IPB said, we are not interested in Igbo presidency. But what I am saying, why did you kill us because of Igbo presidency? Why? Why did you betray IPB because of Igbo presidency? Why? Why did you launch a bubago that killed citizens because of Igbo presidency? Why? Why? Why did you allow Fulani Hefman terrorists to be killing us because of Igbo presidency you were promised? Why? Why did you sell out on Namdekano because of Igbo presidents? Now we ask you, that Igbo presidents, where is it? No way. Then our people you allow Fulani to kill. Have you have they come back? No. Our people you brought army Fulani to kill. I be peaceful protesters. You killed, you massacred in your under your leadership, all of you from 2015 to today. These governors that they just handed over, they are not going to go scot free. They are the people that have been killing IPOB family members. They are the people that organize pattern dance. They are the people that have been organizing the kidnapping of IPOB member and transfer him to not. They are the people that brought to kidnapping of IPOB in their houses. They are the people that launched a bag. They are the people that brought back here, police. They are the people that deployed terrorist army to be killing us. They are the people that gave our bushes to Fulham. Now we ask you, after these betrayers, what did you come back with? Hope was them. Rocha Sokrocha. Ojo Sokano. Ike Premat. Chris Ngige. Okay, see, Paz. Devo man. If I knew Gwani, I would do. And the Hanez Ndibo. After this betrayal of our people, what did you get? Can you account for the bag? Can you give a, a very good account of a bag? The answer is no. But IPOB can give account of communities, not IPOB. Communities can give account of ESL. Communities can tell you that they are now, at least many communities will tell you they are now going to farm. They can now go to farm. You don't need it from IPOB. You need it from communities that are enjoying the works of ESL in their farmlands. My question is, this Nandekano that they betrayed, though he will be out, why I am calling them is, did they do this thing and hand over, think that it has ended? It didn't end. We are asking you, after Python dance, to kill Namdekan because of Igbo presidency. Did you get Igbo presidency? Then, now, why is it that you want to leave office? You handed over Namdekan to the Fulani. You now leave office. But you said, why do you hand the president to Igbo man? You started killing us. 
You say the bloody will hand the president to Igbo man. You allow Fulani to take over our bushes. You say bloody will hand, hey, IPOB should stop this thing. Igbo presidency is coming. We ask you, Devo Mahe, where is Igbo presidency? Obo Nihono, where is Igbo presidency? And Empire Sanyim, where is Igbo presidency? Kenon Namani, where is Igbo presidency? We are asking you. Where is Igbo presidency? Rocha Sokorocha. Hey, where you hand over to an Igbo man? Rocha Sokorocha Ndoshi. Where is Igbo presidency? Where is it? I think it's not interested. But we are asking you, this thing that moved you to sell out our land to Fulan, to be killing citizens, this thing that warranted you to the deploying army to be killing IPOB family members, Igbo presidents. We told you it is not important. You said you need it. Now we ask you, after betraying us, what did, have you gotten the Igbo presidents? Shame on you. But IPOB is still here. Where are you now? Where are all of you now? Did you understand? Do you now see how they fight us? Do you now understand what IPOB is facing? Their selfishness have been our problem. What our mothers are passing through in the bushes, if not ESN, is what they cause for us. The checking points in our communities because of their crime, they were they are always in fear. They are always in fear, these governors, these senators. So they believe that the masses can come against them at any time. Then they made the choice of um, militarizing our land. That's what they concluded. And immediately they told they showed this to the federal government. They took off. They brought these securities. We are shouting, checking points. After shouting, the governor would say, allow them to stay. They know they are rogues. So they are in fear. They, are, they thought that the, the people they are ruling, they are killing, they are intimidating, may turn against them one day. So they need the securities to be around them. Near the house of the governor, they will be checking points. Closer to any home of governors, checking points because they know that they are not doing the people well. Now, after bringing these things to put us in fear, so that we can allow them to be taking our our eating our their location coming in the states, they use Fulani to kill us, Fulani army to kill us. When they knew that they are not succeeding to subdue us, they now say, okay. Let us bring Fulani his men. Right? Then ESM have come to show them what they needed. Now we are asking them, after all these things, you betrayed us. After all these things, you prescribed IPOB. You read, you threw Obia, no, you read it out. After all these things, what did you achieve apart from your personal interest? What did you achieve apart from your personal wealth? What did you achieve for the people that warranted you to develop your wickedness against the people? What did you achieve to exchange the death of IPOB family members? What did you achieve? All these governors. What you just handed over. What did you achieve? Can you present one? To compare with the dead, the body, the, there is a graveyard in Onechabara. We discovered seven graveyards in Biafra land, in the bushes, after Python dance. What did you achieve in exchange to this? What did you achieve? So that we can use the same this and forget it. Now you see that it is unforgettable. What can you present now to exchange the case of IPOB family members in National High School Aba or Ibuacha? Um, well, can you provide anything? Can you? So, what actually warranted you to kill us? Because you are supposed to kill us because we want to bring what is greater or bigger than us. Why did you kill us without presenting anything to the people? You handed over. And you think it is over. You are dreaming. 
My the line is open in case you want to call in. I want our people to contribute. Tell the governors, ask them where is the Namdeka they betrayed, or do they leave him? Then they leave him to go and enjoy their life. But they betrayed him because of some promises from Flan. What you are asking them now, where are those your achievements that you prefer betraying them than they can? You prefer to betray them they can so that you can have that. Uh, the number to call is plus one six four six nine four five. Nine six nine four plus one six four six nine four five nine six nine four. We continue. We are not supporting any surgery on an American in DSS by doctors that um allow a Jimako, but it's allow a Jimako. Canon Takano, Emmanuel Kano, organize group of people and say that they are doctors. They are not the kind of personal doctor. But they are not the people that discuss it with DSS. That the personal doctors to Namdekano must be there if such thing will happen, because it is not supposed to happen. For he is a freed man, according to the court. So what will warrant surgery on him in DSS? Is he a convict? Is he facing trial? Yeah, was he convicted? So why is he there? Because I've been discharged. Now, we ask you, but Sir Professor Michael Zukome, son, and his assistant, son, is leading the case of Fondam de Khan, or this is um, the, uh, this very case that federal government instituted against him, Right, which is presently in Supreme. Now, Osukume is leading the council. Professor uh, Ejofo is assisting him. And the, the, Osukume and his team are the people that discuss that the doctor must be there. How come? Ejimako, Barisei Ejimako, that wasn't there, that wasn't involved in the discussion. And um, Imane Khan and the Kanunta. They now gather people and say that Namdi cannot stop. Why do they always want to lie? If you were doing the right thing, why did you not consult the lead counsel to Namdi Khan? If you were you are properly genuine. We say no to that. We say no to it. Nothing should happen to Namdi Khan. We say no to any surgery on ear of Namdi Khan. We say no. Plus one, six four six, nine four five, nine six nine four. Is what's up? We move. Our people must try to be understanding the face of the battle. Do not just be in the battle, you don't know when matters arises. You don't know when matters arises. The matters at hand is the health condition of Fondam de Khan and his release and the Igbos or sorry, Biafrans return back home. Right? Now, how do you leave it? There are some people, if you go to their war, you will check when they post free Namdekana last. It's either they are talking about Dibia, or they are talking about Christianity. It's either they are writing about Dibia, or they, they, they are making about Christianity, or they are talking about Omena, or they are talking about Jewish. Did you understand? But there is a face of, there is matter arise, that arise. Why can't you focus on it? So you don't even value what you are doing. If you value it, you know that your voices go far. 
you know that your posts go far. Then when you see what we are countering, why do you leave it? Why do you leave it? This very war, there is no particular face of the, the type of uh, how the war will look like this night. You cannot tell us how the war will look like this night. You cannot tell us how this battle will look like in the morning. It is whatever we see in the morning, we face the battle. When that thing comes out, you don't need to be facing another thing. You need to face it immediately. If we trash it, you can use another thing to be feeling relaxed while you are still watching. But this one must be treated immediately. When they can follow, you know, man, we post to change well. You know, I'm able to put a gun immediately. I'll be walking. Do you understand? We must know this. We must know this. Nandi Kanu did not say that in Christianity is where we worship, in paganism is where we worship. In tradition is where we worship. In Judaism is where we worship. In uh, he did not mention any of this one that it is where we worship. He said Radio Biafra is where we worship. We do not worship in Omenala. We do not worship in Christianity. We do not worship in um, Dibia. We do not worship in paganism. That is whatever they call them. We do not worship in Judaism. We worship in Radio Biafra. That does not stop you from believing in your belief. But why it is on Radio Biafra is that in all your belief, we channel one place. And the Biafra will dissolve our problem. How? Everybody will be busy. Why will you have time to go where Agabaraga Afa? The person that is buying Afa, uh, won't you go for a job? There will be work now. You will see that there will be no customer. If you are doing new labor, you see that nobody will come. If you call for a crusade during working time, nobody will come. You go it alone. If you go there tomorrow, you go, there will be work. You will not organize a crusade or a traditional crusade to say, by then, those in the Obedee will be coming back. So you say that your crusade will not be filled. If you organize crusade for those that need job, it will not be filled because there will be job in Biafra land. Biafra will solve our problem. Biafra will solve our problem. Biafra will solve our problem. problem. Radio Biafra is where we worship. But you still believe in your belief. And then Nandekano only argued. He does not uh, just and condemn, you know. Even some things people are presenting is not how Nandekano presented it. Nandekan did not condemn Bible. He argued them from the Bible. He quote the Bible. He did not condemn Jesus. That he, the such prophet did not exist. He know. He said the name Jesus is not his name. He said his name is Yahushua, which means he existed. It is not a fraud. Nandekan did not say it's a fraud. I'm not in anyone no. On where can so? Makan. That all, all of them was created by man. All of them was created by man. No religion was created by God. Do you understand? Now, when you restore Biafra, people will start worshipping our God as people are worshipping the God of Israel because of what he did to them. Now, you will not know the God you will worship when Biafra comes. Now, you will know people that are fully, that fully believe in their religion. You will now see the real Christianity without fraud. You will now see the real Omenal people without fraud. You will now see the real traditional doctor without fraud. You will see the English doctor without fraud because law in the other land will hold all of you tight. Laws. Right? And even those that will come at the junction and do sacrifice, there will be loss. 
The same thing with those that will be with the microphone and put it out against people. There will be loss. The same thing people that will come in a vehicle and start presenting their God or their faith in the public, public vehicle, where we came from different houses. You now try to force me your belief. There will be loss guiding this thing. Then, when we know that in the, now, we cannot make laws. There is no House of Assembly. There is no National Assembly. That's why we are now being led under command and control, pursuing our goal. That does not mean that we are not going to condemn evil, that any religion or any belief is bringing or damages they are bringing on us. But you should not say that a particular religion should stop. It is not done. It is not done. On Radio Biafra, people pray to Namdeka. They pray to for sorry, they pray for him, not to him. They pray to Chuku Abiyama. Now they pray for Namdeka in the name of Jesus. After praying, he will say he said. He will not say the prayer is condemned. He knows it is your faith. He knows that the name is your Yeshua. But some of you said he is a fraud. And when you say he's a fraud, you will try to include the man the can. Man the can did not say he's a fraud. He said his name was changed. He said the prophet Yahweh prayed this prayer, our father in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. That will be done on earth. Right? Thy kingdom come. Right? Now, which is Biafra. This prayer, Namdekan always prayed. He said, Yahweh Hesha prayed it. And he said, he went to where they gave birth to him. He investigated. They told him his original name. He did not say that the prophet of God was a fraud. He did not say he never existed. That prophet existed. But the issue there is the name. Then how come you say it is a, is a fraud? It doesn't exist. And when you are saying it, you will try to bring it to the Our leader never said that. In his prayer, he read out the prayer of Yahushua. He also read out the Bible. He quote the Bible, but you condemn the Bible. He said the main word of God is Old Testament. But you said the whole Bible is condemned. And you try to create, you try to bring it to Namdekan. But he read in his, um, if he said he will not worship another God. He will go to, to um, he said, is it uh, Chronicle or what? What is it called? Right? He will go there, is it 2020 or what? The, um, what is his name? What is the name of that Bible? That book, right? So, in the can that people, because why I'm saying this is whatever you are doing or posting or what you are saying. You know what you are saying because we know what the man they can say. When he said Pentecostal pastors in Nigeria, at if he said he know there are good ones. Do you understand? That is to say, the particular religion he did not con he did not say to stop, but there will be laws in Biafra that will not allow you to use it and commit fraud or. Practice fraud on people. The same thing with Romanal, with Edibia. If you, if we, the same law is guiding everybody. But he condemned evil. He tried to awaken the pastors, to awaken the men of God. That's why he said, about, he did not tell them to stop. He visited the Ugo, um, Ugo Monson in Ecuador. We went there. Our leader went to there. There are men of God that prayed for him. People call on Radio Biafra and pray for Namdekanu with the name of Jesus. He never said it is condemned. He will say he said. He was centered. He was at the middle. He was at Namdekanu is at the middle. That's why in all he presented Radio Biafra. So that there will be no confusion. And that is why we worship. He presented Radio Biafra in all. He know you may be this, this one pagan, this one this, this one uh, Jewish. This. Why did he not say in Jewish is where we worship? He is a Jewish believer. 
But he never forced IPOB to be Jewish. But do you know that some people are telling you Jewish is their flat church? Do you know we don't have church? Do you know in Omenala we don't do it like church? There is a place where our fathers gather and I quaka. I said, Where does it happen in our place? This thing doesn't happen. People should not be driving away. We gather in a place to achieve Biafra. We, our different beliefs. How come at this point, you face, this one will face the other point. Everybody wants to win. So I probably want to win IPOB in argument. Don't you know that all of us will win? How come an individual want to win? So you want to, you want to win. Instead of IPOB winning, then you want to win. Some say they are revenging. What are you revenging? What your God did for you by giving you Biafra is the only revenge you will have because people will follow your God. What God did for Israelites, people started to call, even you, you called the God of Israel. Because you had what he did to them. Now, if people hear what God did for us and give us Biafra, they will also call the God of Biafra. Do you understand? Why do you want to set confusion? Why do you want to instigate? We gather in the places. In one place, different faiths. IPOB, one family. After praying, some will say amen. Some will say he say. We move. We don't say call your three, man. Or we say call your three, say. In the meeting, you appoint somebody to lead us in prayer. The person may be a Christian, he will pray. After praying, he may use his name, the name of uh, try to use your Yahweh or Jesus. You say, you say, those that uh, believe in Amen, they say Amen. The other day, you may, the person you will appoint may be a Jewish. The other day, the next person you will appoint may be a man or a man or woman. After praying, you will conclude with your own belief. After all, they wrote the Bible, they wrote it Amen. They didn't put it, say. But they knew that he said is what we say. And uh, because of this, the Igbo Bible is, that is error. Because all the language cannot be Igbo. Then uh, MM will come in. MM is not Igbo language. The idea of the affair is where we worship. Though we have our different faiths and beliefs. Why it is channeled on Radio Biafra is because we can manage ourselves there. Because we have a goal to score Biafra. Then that's why our leader did not say this particular um, religion is the best. This particular religion is the best. This particular. he never pointed so. He know that there will be confusion. He now said Radio Biafra is where we worship, and Chukwu Abiyama is our God. Now, as a Jewish worshiper, does the Jewish call their God Chukwu Abiyama? The answer is no. Then now become is a Jewish worshiper, and he called the God the name we call him. Now, do you understand? Because he wants to put it at the center. You would have, people were waiting for him to be presenting his Jewish worshiping as the best. As the, no, he didn't do so. Even Nigeria tried to use it to blackmail him. He didn't do so. The only thing he warned us earlier is any Igbo, any Biafran going to Yuba church should not be allowed to join IPB. He did not say that you are evil. He said the Yoruba pastor or Yoruba general overseer will control your mind. If we ask you to move, let us go to war. They will control your mind. So it's better you go to Biafran churches. Do you understand? That's the, what he presented. He said go to Biafran churches. He did not say I condemn the churches. He never presented the Omen Allah. He never presented the Omen Allah. It was George Olibe that came with, let's go back to our root, in Radio Biafra, on Radio Biafra Esther. It is, a histor it is a program from him. Right? Now, yes, we know that they did us wrong. Our fathers fall victim. 
We have the history. But you are not going for event now because already our people are swimming in that state. You can only correct the error. And they accept the error. They believe. But for you to say you must stop, it is not his ogre. There is no house of assembly in IPOB. There is no Senate house that make laws. We are being led with command and control. Which one is the best? Is it your own? Is it ordinal? No, no. There will be a Biafra constitution. You will know the business you are doing before you go for this. If our securities are killing people anyhow. That is when you will know if you go for this. Did you understand? And by then, we will know the person doing all this. By then, anything anybody want to do all this, the government will for the government will be aware. So that if the person die, you'll be held responsible. So many of these things will lack customers. Pastors will lack customers. DBFs will lack customers. Ordinal, everybody will lack customers. Immediately, Biafra come. People will make the right, right choice. Biafra is our religion. That's why Nambikano concluded it. Biafra is our religion. He know you ask, where do we worship? They do Biafra is where we worship. Do you now see how he centered it? He know that we have... Us, he said, now he can achoko ha inge efe. Na e chikwa. So I can achoko ha Even if you present God to us, I can achoko ha inge efe. You cannot stop our people looking for ha inge efe. But what we need is, you, anything you are worshipping cannot be a problem to the people of Biafra. And now, in the society where we are, the government cannot help us to fight it. Government must be included to fight Ajodibia, to fight Ndiokite, to fight the pastor Wayo, to fight, you know, when there is job, you will see that um, uh, the theological seminar, you know, seminary school and the, all this Bible school will not have customers. You will see that in the Menala, Namo Menala, Namo Adenala, Namo Odyssey, there will not be much. You will see that people that are neutral, that are, do not believe in any religion, when Biafra come, that will just believe in Biafra, you will see that there will be majority. Because, because of our condition, our suffering, that is why anybody can get customer. If you start a new religion now, people will follow you because we are confused people. Any new religion now you bring in, bring it to Biafra land, they will troop in. Because they are confused people. They have forgotten their God. Then, Radio Biafra is where we worship, and Biafra is our religion. You see how wise man face it. But to know there's an account of the Oh, we voice to the digital. Somebody knew who tagged a shape when they Christ. I hope I'm a woman can woo. A woman can woo. I want to was anything. I want the Tanahanine. Now, a season in a male event, Yemen and then nine. I will not struggle like in a male. Revenge you want to restore Biafra. If you restore Biafra, you have revenge. Oh, wait, there is no revenge. You revenge. Are you revenging the, against the white man? You are revenging against our brothers and sisters. Is it our brother that did it? The white man have left and dropped it. Our people grabbed it. And the government started suffering us. And our people kept believing. They are now swimming in it. You have not presented data one for them. They would have jumped in. The people that are showing us they are Jewish in Biafra land, they are too dead. They don't bad, they don't do anything. Some of them, you see some of them, so many of them are dead. No, you can wear white. Not everybody can accommodate that. Some say they are Dibia, they are confused. Some say they are Christian, they are confused. So, all those characters, not everybody can accommodate it. So many people are neutral. How can you guarantee that your own is the best? Muslims, they have their own book. Christians, they have their own book. Judaism, they have their own, their own Torah. This one, uh, 
uh, Quran. This one the Bible. Everybody have their own. If you go, this one will be teaching you from what he learned from their own book. And you will not see God there. Did you understand? They will tell you what they told them. The people that started what they believe told them what they wrote in the book. That's what they will use to challenge you. Nobody will say, I met God. This is what God told me. Muslims will be fighting you with what they see in their Quran. Judaism will tell you, meaning if you like, they will beat you from what they see in Torah. Christianity will even fight you with what they see in Bible. And God created everyone, and God is answering them. Did you understand? So, let us know what we are doing. And know how you involve Namdekan and IPOB in your argument. In such argument, know how you involve her because we know how he marked. We know on a man attack, you will hear from his topic. From his topic, you know where his anger is coming from. After all, he will analyze it and tell you the problem. What a bishop did, what a pope did, what this one did. After that, he will now come back. Right? From there, when he was saying these things, even the Christians, they keep following him. They know he's saying the truth. He don't want to stop their church. But he has been saying these things that they themselves cannot say in the church. They are seeing it. But they cannot stay without worshipping God. That's the channel they know. Now, now they cannot start saying it. He's saying it. They are accepting it. He's their leader. You that is a fellow member, you want to address them you still want to address them like in Namdekano? Are you in the same category within Namdekano? You want to address a fellow Biafran, a fellow IPOB freedom fighter in his religion or in his belief. You want to use your authority of Namdekano to be addressing them. Are you in the same category within Namdekano? Don't you know you don't the you don't follow the way Namdekano approaches that issue? And you use it to attack our people. Whether you are a Christian attacking or Adonala or attacking Libya, we don't do so. Whether you are attacking Judaism, we don't do so. The grace of America is different. Stop going hard on our people. Stop going hard on our people. If you want to talk to them, I talk to them. If you don't know how to talk to our people, on religious issues or belief issues. Leave it. Leave it for Namdekan that knows how to say it. And the Namdekan that people can accommodate what he said. People accommodate what Namdekan says. He's our leader. They love him. Not everybody can accommodate what he said, even as you are saying the truth. Therefore, it will cause confusion. Because they are seeing you as their own level, the same level. You are in fellow, fellow comrade. You are fellow freedom fighter. And you are, it's like you are just purposely attacking his religion. Now the can can say it, can say it, he will accept it. Now you know where the problem is. And you want them to believe you as they believed in Namdekan. Are you the same with Namdekan? Christianity, you want Ndwadunala to believe you. Now Ndwadunala, and you want Christianity to believe you. You want to give them order. As in Namdekano, are you in the same, under the same grace within Namdekano? That's what I want to drop there. Can you understand? Namdekano must be freed. Biafra will solve our problem. Biafra, or Rad. church church. Because some payan, 
government will solve some of the problem. Because those their problem on Agabe Dibia. The government of Biafra will put those things in place. Those things. Those problems that warranted him to go to him. Right? That problem that warranted him to go to Ibasa, government of Biafra might have solved it. You know, because of this bad condition, people cannot differentiate spiritual problem and the, their problem and even issues that government is supposed to settle. That is what we are facing. That's why there is confusion. That's why you can leave church and go to Dibi. That's why you can leave Dibi and go to church. That's why you can be complicating issue. Because had the government been able to settle their own problem, we will know what is our problem. And we will know what is a strange problem. We can even call spiritual. But today, there is no Biafra. You cannot know the spiritual problem. You cannot know the physical problem. You don't even differentiate it. Know what the government can solve. So we carry all of them to Dibia. Or we carry it to Ulebere. That's why they have customers. If they settle our problem, how many people will say they are, they are tools in workshop and go and hustle in Obudoyi? But if you are in, in Dibia, people go there and give them money so that they will do for them to travel to Obudoyi. People go to Ulebere and give them money to pray for them to travel to Obudoyi. Now, if Biafra come, such customers will not come to Dibia again because nobody will go to Dibia to travel to Obudoyi from the Afra land. For what? Is it for job? No, now. Our people will travel for special mission. Our people will know, and if you come there, you'll be honored, because you will have ambassador. Do you understand? Accident will be less. Those that do people poison, they will get job. So many of them will be freed. Bad minds, some bad minds will just, people, you know that some people are not wicked when Biafra comes. Some people you see as wicked people, you will know they are not wicked. That's what we are telling you. Two points from one Namde Khan, that is where you will channel. What are those two points? Radio Biafra is where we worship. And Biafra is our religion. And he knew that we believe in different faiths. He now center it there. He did not impose on us his own religion, Judaism, no. He said, Biafra is our religion. That is to say, when you get Biafra, you solve the problem. If you get Biafra, you solve the problem. In a world day, she and the police and the Biafra on a baby anyhow. I hear the world day, she can ajira me na police have a baby. So the Libya that will be doing on the day, she again we customer. Do you understand? Again we customer because okay, my brother they here. Thank you. That's what we are telling you. Our people should concentrate. Because so DSS is not by the corner. They want to know the one that will be imposed, but they normally want to use them. Um, they will try to use Christianity. They will try to attack Christians. That's the ground DSS wants. You know, you need to study them all. Now they can't have made us to study them. As we are making argument, they are reading, they have their agents, they deploy special on media to monitor your arguments. Now they are following up. They are following up. There will be a place where the argument will reach. They will now strike to see a ground. They will attack church. They will say IPOB or Denala, attack church. Right? They will say IPOB tradition, attack Christians, going to church. The Bluetooth device is really cheap. That is why I'm not going to. You don't think you have the same grace within Namdekanu to address such issue. 
Don't think in him with a good grace, sir. Ah. When such authority direct on a J. Kudioku. Don't try to do it like this, because like that, because our people will not totally agree with you. You are the same comrade with them, and you are coming closer to their faith. You come closer to their faith, they misunderstand you. They can calm down because Sinam Bekan is saying it. Can you understand? Can you understand? They can calm down if you attack their faith, if Sinam Bekan says something about their faith. But you see you, you, they will not agree with you. It's better you leave them. When you know that it, whatever, the, Biafra will solve the problem. Biafra, was, you will get Biafra, they cannot stop you. We are all involved here. We protest together. We never gather in a protest, or people want to join protests. We say, no, we don't want to see Christian in this protest. We don't want to see Adenala. It's only Judaism. Oh, we don't want to see Judaism. It's only Christian protest. Have we carried it on? The answer is no. Oh, have we come in a, a protest? You say, all oh, the Dibia go out. All oh, the Adenal go out. All oh, the It's a lie. We gather together. We move together. In ESN, they work together. Both Christian, both to Judah, all of them are there. Both of men are Both to Judaism, they are in ESN. Everywhere we are there. In, if you go to the state, what the former coordinator, the, the coordinator that is missing, said there, they have religious leader, state religious leader, one. Now, they now have Judaism department, their leader, because then they, don't, they now have Christian leader. Do you know why? There are things that the Judaism does not eat. So, when we gather in a place, the, those Judaism will prepare something, if there is something like that. It is your duty to provide what your faith can eat. Right? Uh -huh. That's how it is done. But one religious leader leads all of them. If we want to give them the religious um, assignment, all of them, both the Christian go to Judaism, but they will gather and plan. That's how we were set. And that is how it is done. Share the program we will not dwell long there. Our leader must be free. I think you understand. Say no to surgery. Change your profile picture. Go back. Remove that may Go back to Nandikano picture. We have respected them. And it has a, it's an annual event. We are talking about the health to shake the media now with update of profile. Social person, updated profile. Social person, updated profile. Start changing to profile picture of Nam Dekanu. Let us return back and finish this battle. Started May is an annual event. This one is not annual. This one is must be finished now. Right? So make sure you try to change your profile picture. Don't watch at Facebook. Do what you are doing. Facebook, if you like, show me one person. It's not my business. Is it to say truth? I will say truth now. I will say it. After all, Wadida is aware. He's aware I'm here now. After all, before he was kidnapped, he's aware I'm here. And I will say the truth. In case you don't know. In case you don't know. Thank you. Dave Oman, if I knew Guani, will you be a no? Hope was a demo. Okay, Z Bazo. Rochas or Crocha. What are their names? Ike Kremado. Chris Ingige. These people I just mentioned now, they are key players for kidnapping of Nam de Khan. They are key players. They played their role very well. They did very well. They have done very, very well. 
you know. But there was something they wanted to uh, the exchange in Namdekano with, you know. And the killings of Bia France, they said Zibo presidents, they opened their back, Fulani was coming. People was crying over Fulani invasion. They said Zibo presidents, Igbo presidents, the police kill us. Igbo presidents, army will kill us. Igbo presidents, they organize pattern dance. Igbo presidents, they launch a bubago to kill the people. Igbo presidency, they organize criminality to be killing us. Igbo presidency, now we ask them, after all these crimes against the people, did you get Igbo presidency? Their size, no. Oh, and that's indeed one near word. These governors I mentioned, eight years from 2015, they are the people that killed their friends with uh, Buhari. They are the killer machines of Buhari. Okay, Z, Bazo. They are the people that are proscribed by Ethiopia. Okay, Z, Bazo. If I knew Guane, Devo, Mahi, Willow, Biano, Rocha, Sokorocha, Hope, Oza, Demma, right? Near word. Aha, Ike, Kure, Mado. Chris Ngige, minister. Right? When your is not showing to, is not reflecting much. Right? Now, what are their names again? Have I mentioned Willow Biano? He was the one who read out the prescription of IPO. Then we asked them, do you have presidency how far? Then where is the name the can you use to exchange as an exchange for Igbo president? Where is it? No Igbo presidents, no name the can. And you want us to go, uh, you know, uh, 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 it's all right. Right? So we'll go and rest. Where is it now? Anything, anything for the children. They are non-pama. And I say, hey, if, if he, they did not give his own presidency to Igbo, Igbo, they, we will join IPOB. You will join IPOB, mad people. Excuse me. Oh, huh? I didn't busy, but later. 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 Add in busy one later. We move. Do you understand? What did they bring back home? What did they bring? Ask them. As I mentioned their name, post it. Post it on your wall. Ask them. We are not interested in the presidency, but it was their agenda that warranted them to be killing us. They finally hand over Nandekanu to them after they failed to kill him in Afaruku. Now, because of Igbo presidency 2023, they said, Frederick government, if they did not give Igbo presidency, we'll join IPB. We are not even calling them to join us in the Papa. We are asking them. The Papa Rala, Makai with Papa and IPOB. Then come the Papa Rala, and I told her, I went then and IPOB where we are with them. But they are on the Papa Rala, we don't need them. We don't need them. Right? Now, they are Right? Now you see the reason why none of the cannon was freed. All of them have failed. Had the IPOB not allowed the traditional rulers and religious leaders to go and seek for free Namdekano through political solution, they would have been blaming us. They would say we were in opportunity. Ah, we are the elite. We wanted to go and bring in Namdekano. The IPOB said no. We wanted to go. They would have given us the blame that we allowed them to go. What do they have? They come back in shame. But they told us, cool down, we know how to do it. They, they are our children. What do they bring? Not a shame to die to be still here. We are fighting for freedom that they betrayed. They left office empty. They left our land empty. The second major bridge came from Namdekan. What do these people achieve? Can they give account of a bag? 
the people have back okay. What can they present in exchange to the killings of our people? Do they have any tangible thing to present as an exchange to our people youth that was massacred with the name Python Dance? Exercise by Nigerian and can they? No. And that is why you have to ask them this question. Where is in Kano that you betrayed because of your Igbo presidents? Very simple. Call their name, devil man, who pose them. Where is in Kano that you sailed out because of the promised Igbo presidents? Very simple. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I will not go far in the broadcast. I will be short. And I think we will be bringing the program to an end at this very point in time. May Chukwa Abiyama continue to sustain all of you. Change your profile picture from 30th May. Change it to Namdekano page. Very, very important. Very, very important. At least we have added extra one week after 30th May. So we need to go back on the matter at hand. Namdekano, we are not supporting any surgery. Yes, surgery on him because he in DSS because he is not a convict, he's not government property, he's not condemned criminal, he's not in life, he's not a life imprisonment, he's not a, he was not convicted, he's not even facing any trial as an awaiting trial mate. So how come what are the circumstances surrounding his case that will warrant him to undergone surgery in DSS facilities that the DSS refuse him access to his doctor. Even people that deny him food, how can they give him a better position for surgery? Where was Tinubu treated? Was Tinubu treated in DSS? Before Buhari died, did Buhari die in DSS? He died in abroad when he went for treatment. So we ask you, how many Nigerian politicians have undergone surgery? Facebook could remove people. It's not my business. How many? How many of the politicians? Then is in the can that will be, he will, will undergo such surgery, right? In DSS. A freed man. When is his date of court? When? Not supremo. Trial court date. Is he facing trial? Then why, why must he undergo surgery in DSS? And upon that, the people they paraded, they said they are personal daughter without consulting the lead cancer, Michael Zuckerman. Where did you bring those doctors? Hello, Jumako. Canon Takan. Emmanuel Khan. You brought a doctor to carry on surgery on Namdekan without the consent of the lead counsel. Uzuko Mesan. And even IPOB lead counsel. Basse Jofo, who is assisting Uzuko Mesan on the case of Nam de Khan. You didn't consult them. You started publishing. Nam de Khan's doctors are ready in DSS to carry on surgery. Family said, just imagine. But in the charges against Nam de Khan, family was not mentioned. It was IPOB that was mentioned. Now you know. And on that, we have come to the end of this today's program. 
Mechukwa grant all of you your heart desire, bless you, provide for you, favor you, and continue to assist you in what you are doing. We will continue to push in truth and in honesty. Chukwa Biyama will continue to preside over every of our proceedings. And the Mazenam Dekanu must come back live and safe. And we must rejoice. People must know that this is freedom fighting and our God is in charge. Thank you, Ezudo Makanebuchi. We ask you for your favor upon our people wherever they are, so that your favor upon them will attract the favor of all mankind and they will favor them within and without. We pray that this favor upon them will always be a light for them. It will make them to be different from others in any part of the world where they get themselves. This very favor was upon Joseph and he was very different among others in the house of Potiphar. The same favor took him to Pharaoh and he was favored. He was highly lifted. This is what we ask upon you, uh, from you upon our people wherever they are. Thank you, Yezu Dochuko Kabiyama, in your name, Chi Uku Okik, Abia Amara Poro Ime Ihenile, we have prayed. Ise, 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 thank you, thank you. Facebook, you are now free, go and enjoy yourself. Come to Nambo. From me, fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazda Madam Chumachuku, and from here, our homeland radio Biafra. It is good evening.